Mizzy World. So my bro Raw, he the one that put me on power. This is my shit. My this is my shit right now. And we just saw the first episode. Our thing right now is we're gonna do a reaction and prediction video after every episode. And we just saw, I just told y'all, we just saw the first episode. So bro, what's your big take from the whole first episode of Power? Unpredictable. Uh-huh. Had me on the edge of my seat. You were sitting right next to me. That's that's a fact. That's a left, fact. Left me with my mouth wide open. Right. Crazy ass episode. Um disappointed in Tyreek, which I shouldn't be. Right. But this is what he do. Right. Every exactly. Time, that's true. That's true. Every time. This <laughs> even nigga, though, it's like even though a nigga disappoints you every time, you still can be disappointed though. You disappointed me to a level that I thought you couldn't disappoint me more than you did last season. <laughs> yeah, I mean Right. But I mean, with the, I'm like, I'm disappointed, but it's like, this season gonna be fucking lit. So, my reaction to the first episode was, like, that shit was, it was crazy to me, and honestly, I think it's gonna be a bigger rift between Ghost and the Sun that people think it's gonna be. That's what I think. But, um, after you saw what, what Dre was doing, and he got away from the hit and everything, what's your opinion on Dre? My opinion on Dre is that he's always been a bitch, but... <laughs> Ever since play goes to show you that that's how a lot of these niggas in the streets is. Once Facts. they get some money and power, Facts. they it goes to their head. Just like anybody with money and power, they 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 abuse that shit. Dre is and, the and I don't care if you're in the streets, you you work at Walmart, you work at you work anywhere. If you do anything and you abuse your power, you're a bitch. That's just me. Dre's a known bitch from past episodes, and everybody knows this. He got some money, he got some people behind him, and now he think he that boy. Right. But. I think I got. I know what the fuck gonna happen. I'm not gonna spoil it. But I see Man, some shit coming. What the come. fuck you mean? He acting like he a writer on power. He ain't gonna spoil I, it. I'm telling you. Hey, no, listen to him, y'all. This nigga don't know shit. He don't know. Mark my fucking words. Nigga, predict it right now, nigga. Mark what, nigga? That you I, don't want to spoil. I'm shit. telling you what's gonna happen. I think young boy Reek gonna try to fucking kill Tommy. I think he gonna try to kill Tommy. I think a lot of people. Tommy. I think he's going to try. Ooh! I think he's going to try. It might not be this season. He's going to try to kill Tommy. So let me ask you a question. Go ahead, bro. What do you feel about her girlfriend, Tasha's girlfriend? Lala? Lala. As she got ride or die, man. She questioning too much, man. For me, and, and, and especially at the fact that I'm pretty sure that nine times out of ten, that hair business got put up from the money that they was distributing in the clean money. Ten times because, out of ten. Exactly. So at the end of the day, you coming and you talking this bullshit about she came to you, I need your help. I'll come talk to you later. My bro wouldn't do that. She's never been a my rider. Bro, my, my bro wouldn't You know I would, but she's never been a rider. I don't she, care if you're a fucking rider or not, nigga. She you just, get beat the fuck up when you die on the field, nigga. Exactly. That's what happened, motherfucker. Ten times, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That's how I rock, man. She's going to always... She, first of all... She asked too many fucking questions. Period. She, like, let's just bitch, take this money. If you clean ride, that shit and rock the fuck out. Shut ride, the fuck up. Ride. If you gonna ride, ride. And know what it means. Then shut the fuck and up. And I want to speak on this situation. And what what season was it? What was it? The third or fourth episode? The fourth, third or fourth season where she was fucking with Tommy. If you dealing with a street nigga, do not expect to grab that nigga hard just from fucking him. I'm sorry. It's, All you brought was pussy to the table. It's sis. pussy everywhere. All you brought. All you brought was pussy to the table. And, and you felt some type of way. And Tommy knows she ain't built like that. Tommy so, knows she ain't built and, like and that. And he deep in that shit. And he not trying to get out. He ain't one of them niggas trying to get out. Tommy the realest gangster on the show. Period. So, you know what I mean? You got to know what you signed up for when you dealing with that nigga that he is sent in jail for life over not writing over a nigga. You, when you dealing with a nigga like that, when you dealing with a nigga that is down a, a whole nigga squad for his brother, you got to know what you dealing with, sis. This shit ain't no, oh, I'm going to buy you a fucking dozen roses when I get off from busting this track. Tommy been a gangster. From day, from episode one. Facts. When episode one started off, I know a lot of y'all is bandwagon power fans, so y'all just got it on a couple seasons ago. I am. Um, you know what I'm saying? But Tommy was a gangster since fucking episode one. Facts. He's been fucking riding. Facts. Period. Facts. Straight off the top. So, my last question for bro is, since that... Ghost kind of, kind of trusting Kanan right now, and we know that power is probably besides Game of Thrones is the hands down the most unpredictable show on television right now. Do you think that's going to come back to bite Ghost in the ass, having to entrust in Kanan so much? And he did set the nigga on fire. I think anytime you trust 
or you have to put your trust in the killer and Kanan and the killer, a AKA, cold killer, a cold killer, AKA period. 50 Cent, aka Curtis Jackson. Anybody that you know in your neighborhood, we, we all know a nigga like that in your neighborhood, but go ahead. Anytime you gotta put your trust in that nigga, you always gotta look over your shoulder to make sure that you're not being set up as well. Right. 50 Cent riding right now. Mm-hmm. Kanan riding right now, I'm sorry. Kanan riding right now. Right. But at the end of the day, you burnt this nigga. Literally. Period. You burnt, set him on fire. You meant to kill him. This is a petty ass nigga. In the show, outside of the show, King fucking Petty. But I gotta say this. He did point out the fact that he did have multiple opportunities to kill both of them and get away with a lot of loot. But and yeah. get away with a lot of loot, bro. So it's like, what will be the point but of coming back right now? But when he says that... It's he, like a setup. It's, it's like a setup, setup to bring a card to him. I, 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 I know. I got a game of Trump, nigga. I'm about to fuck you up. But see, what it was was I want the whole penthouse. Exactly. I want your whole life, nigga. Exactly. Right. This nigga came to your fucking crib. Right. He came to your house. Right. And threatened your wife. Right. Last Facts. season. Facts. And then walked out. Facts. He gave this nigga the fucking lean. They got this nigga went crazy. They got this shit. nigga just doing all this dumb shit so that we mad at. So the last thing we want to touch on is our predictions for next week. And what's your predictions for next week, bro? My prediction is I feel like it's not going to be as action-packed mm-hmm. as this week. Only because they still got to throw in what I want to call a paperwork side of it. Uh-huh. You know, as far as like uh, the DA... She was. I ain't gonna lie. She, the, she definitely was a new character. The, the internal affairs lady. She want to get an Angela. You know what I'm saying? You got that Facts. ass fucking nut ass uh, Korean or Asian prosecutor, whatever the fuck he Facts. is. You know Facts. what I mean? He's still holding a grudge against Ghost right. and Angela. Right. So I feel like you know. And the other boy that's not a lord. And I feel like it's that, I, uh, we gonna speak on that later because that's something I also want to get into is his role in this whole situation. What's your prediction, bro? My prediction for next week. Um, I feel as though it's gonna be more uh, action packed. For me and Raw, this is where we disagree. I feel as though it's going to be more murder. I didn't see nobody get down. I feel as though this was the, the light jab. I feel as though they might come with a with a right hook next time. You feel what I'm saying? But that's just my prediction. 